guys, it's 21 Maxwell here, and welcome to another episode of Football Manager 2016, Big Brother, Who Goes, You Guys Decide. Last week we had a disappointing defeat against Liverpool, which put everyone up for elimination, and of course you guys voted for David De Gea. Great, thanks. Cheers, I appreciate it. <laughs> so, um, it's going to be really difficult now, you know, we're going to have to go with uh, Victor Valdez and Sergio Romero. I mean, that's three big stars gone already, De Gea, Rooney, Herrera. We're struggling in the league. We've got Arsenal next, which is going to make it even more harder. So we should see a lot of guys up for uh, elimination next week. And to top off, to put more pressure on me, as you know, I don't play the European games because this is firmly about trying to win the league for all these players. And the assistant manager, Mr. Ryan Giggs, got us eliminated from the Champions League against Monaco. So we're in the Europa League. So that's going to be fun um, in terms of job uh, security. So how long this series lasts remains to be seen, but we'll try and get away with doing as good as possible. As I say, Arsenal are the visitors today. After this, Southampton away, another difficult tie. We've got an easier kind of run, where we hopefully should keep as many of our players as possible. So given in mind the guys that are missing, we're going to be lining up with Valdez, Shaw, Rojo, Smalling, Matteo Darmian, Morgan Schneiderlin, Bastian Schweinsteiger, Antonio Valencia, Memphis Depay, Juan Mata, and Anthony Martial, Romero, Blind, Carrick, Fellaini, Paddy McNair, James Wilson, and Ashley Young are on the bench. The reason these guys aren't in the reserves is because I put Rooney in the reserves and he was unhappy. So they'll just be there and we'll keep them with uh, eliminated with what week they were eliminated on as a nickname. So we'll drill right into the match. We'll see who becomes available going forward for elimination. Um, hopefully I can keep as many of the senior players as possible. I think we're going to slowly but surely have to bring some of the youth players into the team. So it's interesting to see how Arsenal line up. Hopefully they're missing a few players, although I doubt it. 74, they've won two, drawn at one. And they can line up Czech, Monreal, Mertesaka, Koscielny, Bellerin, Coquelin, Aaron Ramsey, Alexis Sanchez, Meza Ozil, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain and Theo Walcott. So the only player I would say that's really missing is probably going to be uh, Olivier Giroud. So we won't go with Giggsy because Giggsy doesn't have the greatest stats for that. Albert looks like he could be a shout. In fact, Lauren Joyce looks decent. Nicky Butt looks okay. Uh, I think we'll use our goalkeeping coach because he's got the best attributes for that. So we'll just say to them, passionately, I expect a win. So uh, big pressure. It's the first start of the season for Victor Valdez. He's going to be number one. Uh, until he gets eliminated, uh, or until injury, or just poor form means we have to go with Sergio Romero. But hopefully we get a good positive performance here. Try and secure as many people going forward because already losing Herrera is a big loss. Rooney is a big loss in FM, maybe not in real life. And uh, in all honesty, David De Gea is a massive loss, an absolutely massive loss. But that is the challenge. No, it would make this really difficult. Let's see how poor a Man United side uh, we can win the league with. Here's Alexis. Good save from Victor Valdez. As he hopes to keep a clean sheet. Remember, guys, the rules are for goalkeeper and defender, if you keep a clean sheet, you're immune from elimination. And if you play in midfield or up front, if you score or assist the goal, you're also immune. The other people that will be immune will be the two guys who are injured at the moment, which is Phil Jones and Nick. Oh, so there's Chamberlain, another good save there for Victor Valdez. No fallouts here, he's he's going to be definitely hoping to impress and actually make you a, a chance in a Manchester United jersey, which he doesn't seem to be getting in real life and doesn't look like is going to happen anytime soon. Uh, it's a bizarre situation, definitely, but uh, just need to make it what you can. Anyway, here's Schneiderlin, he's got Luke Shaw bombing forward, Luke Shaw, ball in the box, Antonio Valencia. And it's a good block there from Nacho Monreal. Mata plays it in and Peter Cech gathers with E. So a pretty drab first half if I'm honest. We'll have more of the ball because we are controlling the play. But when they say MD's completely standing out, there's no great performer. Um, in the clear cut chances you'd definitely actually say Arsenal have probably had more of the match. But here's Chris Smollin. Plays it to Antonio Valencia while he take it for a run. No, he plays it into Juan Mata. Mata back to Morgan Schneiderlin, who looks for Memphis. Intercepted. Could this be an Arsenal counter-attack? Marcus Rojo says no. 
Valencia is a very end to end, very, very end to end with chances either side. Valencia ball in, Anthony Martial, and he's got to bury that. He could have saved himself, he could have saved Antonio Valencia, but instead it remains goalless. Here's Oxley Chamberlain, Monreal against Matteo Darmian. They retain the possession with Arteta, who's come on for the injured Coquelin, and Oxley Chamberlain, and he balloons it over the bar. So still 0 0. Pretty poor performances from a few guys there. I think Bastian's been very average. Uh, same for Anthony Martial. And can we launch a quick counter attack here, Victor Valdez? What can you do with your distribution? It's a long ball forward. And uh, that's going to be swept up by the Arsenal defence and cleared again. So they're pushing on again. Walcott's going to have pace here. A mistake from Rojo. And how crucial could that mistake be from Marcus Rojo? He has pretty much cost himself Chris Smallin. Darmian and Shaw and Valdez immunity and it's an easy finish for Walcott, very disappointing there and Dali Blind must be sitting on the bench absolutely kicking himself wondering how the hell Marcus Rojo has been selected ahead of him so pretty poor there for Marcus Rojo hopefully he doesn't do that at Sporting Kansas City because I've just signed him as a designated player uh, fair enough he's 33 in that save but poor at the moment we're already going to go desperate and Martial is going to be replaced by James Wilson. So one thing we can already tell you is Martial will be up for elimination next week. He'll be part of the Stropple. But can some of the other guys save themselves? Even the defence now pretty much need to bomb forward, need to try and score to give themselves any chance of staying. And the fact that we're going to have one win in a couple of games isn't good. It's massive pressure on me before we even really get going. And we haven't really got any good players that are, are no good players, but world class players that could dig us out this hole. Especially with the rule I've made that I'm not allowed to sign MD and I have to rely on the youth team. Anyway, here's Chamberlain now. Chance for Arsenal again. Mesa Ozil. To Ramsey. Hector Bellerin getting well forward. Completely does look Shaw. Chamberlain and Alexis, I suppose, and Smalling just gets rid of it. So very, very lucky there. And thankfully small and deals with it. But I just feel there's just nothing really happening. Matt is struggling. Memphis is struggling. Schweinsteiger is struggling. These are the guys you'd be expecting to try and drag the team up. And it's uh, it's time of need. But it's just not happening at the moment. Here's Schweinsteiger. To Memphis. It's a ball to Antonio Valencia. And James Wilson hits the bar. Absolutely no luck if James Wilson's hitting the bar from there. A great opportunity for him. And it looks like um, Arsenal are going to break away. Walcott's in. Good save. And somehow we hold on. Or have we? Oxley Chamberlain, Bellerin. They're queuing up here. And Victor Valdez with a spectacular save there. A couple of guys struggling with fatigue means Juan Matas coming off. And he will be up for elimination. As is going to be Memphis as well. We're using our free subs here. I'm going to use Fellaini as an attacking midfielder. Ashley Young as a winger. I don't know why, even if they are like suited as an inside forward, they still seem to work well as wingers on this game. But as it stands, only Nick Powell and Phil Jones won't be up for elimination. Everybody else will be available. My horrible start is not going to help me in the long run, that's for sure. Try and get a team talk. Try and drill into the boys. You know, let's try and get a consolation. Oh, even a point here would be massive, and good save again, Victor Valdez has been absolutely phenomenal so far. Let me just return to the first team, but you have to think, if this is like a boring nil nil, if it isn't for a stupid mistake from Marcus Rojo, even Mike Smallins playing really, really well, good standard 8.1 performance, unfortunately, nobody else is, but Ashley Young with the ball in, Smallin and Wilson! And somehow, someway, Chris Smallin has managed to save himself with that flick on there. The ball in from Ashley Young. Smalling wins the header. And it's James Wilson, the back post, volleying it into the back of the net. That means that Chris Smalling went 9.0. Absolutely crucial. I was worried, you know, when I seen the high rating, I'm like, folk might look to eliminate him. But he saved his bacon with that assist. That's fine. As I say, defenders can save themselves with assists and goals as well, but Wilson for a chance for Ashley Young and he has to dive, why dive Ashley, stay on your feet son Schneiderlin to Schweinsteiger, Fellaini, James Wilson we could have had a superstar born there 
But it finishes 1-1. I think given the squad we've got, that's not too bad. But we're really going to have to start turning these draws into wins. And the only people that will survive going into next week will be Mike Small and Chris Small, and, um, James Wilson, and the two injured parties. But not looking good so far. I'm just going to quickly sim through these to see the results and we've got an idea of what position we're in going forward for next week's episode, which is against, as I say, Southampton. So before a couple of other teams play, we're sitting in 11th place, but we really need to start racking up the wins. And hopefully, we do. So that's it for this episode, guys. As I say, you can vote for anyone apart from Chris Smallin and James Wilson. We'll have a straw poll in the comments section below. That being said, guys, if you enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. If you've got any comments on the, on the series so far, let me know how you think I can improve it. Even let me know who you voted for. It's always intriguing to know who's, who's trying to screw me over. But I mean, I deeply appreciate it, guys. Thank you as always for watching, and I'll see you next week for Southampton Away. Bye bye.